What if you were in a sudden accident or diagnosed with a serious illness? What if you were unable to speak for yourself? Who would speak for you? Do they know what matters most to you? These questions have long occupied patients, families, caregivers, and medical professionals. Advanced care planning is so much more than just end-of-life care. Advanced care planning is really about normalizing the conversation around um, what your beliefs and desires and values are and ensuring that um, one day when you're not able to speak for yourself that your voice will, will be heard and those wishes and values and beliefs will be carried out. Participating in an advanced care plan or advanced care planning is really about a process of, of five steps. So there's um, the thinking part, the learning, the deciding, the talking about it and recording. We know that um, in situations where people have participated in an advanced care plan or the process of advanced care planning, that there is a reduction in anxiety and stress, not only during the later stages of when someone's passing, but also after they're gone. It's a lot, it's, it tends to be a bit easier on those that you've, you've left behind. Advanced care planning is about having these incredibly important conversations with your substitute decision maker and sharing an understanding of your values and wishes to inform future healthcare decisions. It's about conversations, it's about wishes, it's about how we care for each other. Not being able to speak for yourself, that is a big question. So who will be our voice? Who will be your voice when you're not able to speak for yourself? So a substitute decision maker is a person or many persons who will speak for yourself, who will make medical decisions for you when you're not able to do it yourself, either because of illness or injury. That person can give or refuse consent of medical treatments uh, that are suggested by your healthcare practitioner when you're not able to consent yourself. It is very important to have many conversations so that your substitute decision maker understands well his role, but more so understands very well your wishes. Next, it's also to understand advanced care planning is looking at the future and hypothetical situations. So you don't really have to be knowledgeable about uh, treatments and be very specific about what treatments you want and don't want. The most important thing to do is to have a conversation with your substitute decision maker expressing your values, your wishes and your beliefs so that they have comfort and an understanding at a time when you do not have capacity to be able to make decisions on your behalf and knowing what is important to you. The Advanced Care Planning in Canada, a national framework and implementation project, was initiated in 2008 with the goal of raising awareness about the importance of advanced care planning and to equipping Canadians with the tools they need to effectively engage in the process. It's your care, your right, and your plan for your future personal health care. Back in 2008, we were having a, a dilemma about getting Canadians to talk about death and dying. So we were trying to figure out a way to get Canadians to have this conversation in a meaningful way that was more positive. The area of advanced care planning in Canada launched a Speak Up campaign, and that's what we're talking about today. It's about getting Canadians to talk about their wishes at the end of life. We have our website, advancedcareplanning.ca. We have a whole host of resources available to people and, and prompts to help them start these difficult conversations. Conversations. We also created a legal toolkit that was developed by lawyers for lawyers to give them some guidelines and some prompts on how to have those conversations so when someone comes in to look at estate planning, they can naturally segue into advanced care planning. We're excited to be working on a long-term care planning toolkit. We're also working on a community-based and home care toolkit. With the aging population, we're kind of underprepared and we want to ensure that we provide as many resources and tools available to families and their loved ones when they're entering into that system. And I have here um, an example of a workbook tool as part of our Speak Up campaign is that it's about a guide that not only helps you to record what those values and wishes are, but actually acts as a bit of a, a starting point for your families or something that you could take to a loved one and say, hey, have you thought about this or have you considered? Can we work through this workbook together? And although we have um, them available for the national uh, organization, we do have different ones that are, are part of um, the different provincial and territorial organizations um, so that they're unique to the provinces because the legislation can be a bit different. For more information on Advanced Care Planning Initiative in Canada, please visit advancedcareplanning.ca.